Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are Team Evergreen. Our team includes Lê Ngọc Trâm, Nguyễn Tùng Lâm, Triệu Hương Trà Mi, and Tạ Ngọc Ánh. Today, we are going to investigate the case of a glass company named Ace and Tate. Ace and Tate, disrupting the European eyewear industry. Now, let's get started with the key content. Ace and Tate sells our way in the United Kingdom, Netherlands, Germany, and several other major European markets, and is planning expansion into other areas, competing with many players in the traditional optical industries, such as frame manufacturers, lens manufacturers, opticians, franchises, and very few individual direct retailers. The company has used the cost savings made possible by disrupting the traditional eyewear supply chain to offer quality glasses at a low price point of 98 euro. The company has a full-time staff of 25 employees in Amsterdam, including its eyewear designers and uses outside vendors for manufacturing and shipping. Ace and Ted's lean business model allows it to keep costs low and focus on its core goal, creating a strong, stylish product at a fraction of the user price. Ace and Ted sells primarily online with a flat fee payment system for each pair of glasses. Many extra services are included into the base price, such as free shipping and returns, a flexible return policy, and their ability to try on up to four pairs of glasses also deliver for free within five days. It relies on a family-owned eyewear manufacturer in Northern Italy for most of its glasses, a well-regarded Dutch laboratory for its synthetic lenses, and a third party in the Netherlands for most of its shipping. The company also selects the correct synthetic glasses and lens coatings and also includes ultraviolet protection at no extra charge. Technologically, Ace and Tate use Bootstrap CSS, an open source front end framework for its website homepage, and this will allow customers shopping on mobile device and application as well. The first site uses responsive web design with Magento, an e-commerce software and platform provider which enriches the customer experience on the site. Hi, my name is Lam and I will uh, deliver the, key, the last part of the key content which will focus on three aspects of a centered case. One is the target demographic customer to the experiment with physical presence and lastly, the trailblazer in America. So now let's focus on the first part. The target customer of uh, Accenture are young people who, who are very style conscious and open-minded. They're very active on social media and very, very, very cost-saving. They're attracted to modern design and they strongly emphasize the environmental conservation and philanthropy. Secondly, Accenture also experiment with their physical presence. Uh, we are not, uh, they have developed many star, physical stars in many big uh, European cities such as Amsterdam, Berlin, Copenhagen, and Munich, to name but a few. And they also have individual outlets in Amsterdam in which the customer can view and try on glasses, but they still have to do the ordering online. And lastly, the, uh, I want to tell you about the chill blazer of Accenture in America. Wabi Parker is the very pioneer in the direct-to-consumer e-commerce business model. They grew very quickly by raising venture capital and now they have a revenue over $1 million and they plan to have over uh, 70 physical stars by 2017. And they are uh, the inspired not only competitors of Accenture in Europe, but also other retailers in other industries such as, uh, such as razor blades and shaving implements, mattresses and backpacks. And that's all about my part. So now let's move on to the next part, which is business model in the e-tailer. 
So regarding the business model of Accentet, which is the e-retailer, at first Accentet was solely just a motion merchant with its sales of glasses as the revenue model. However, they experimented with the bricks and clicks until 2016 they had their physical locations in the Netherlands, Germany, Belgium and Denmark. And they also had agreements with many individual outlets for customer try on glasses. However, ordering is still done online. Hi, my name is Chum, and my part today is to analyze the four elements of this business model. Firstly, let's start with the value proposition of Ace and Ted. It can be seen that the company has a successful value proposition since people choose to buy their products from the company due to three main reasons. The company pays attention to customization. Ace and Ted is easily accessible to people who do not have complex requirements. Also, the company reduces the price cost by cutting off third parties in the supply chain. And the 100% free delivery makes Ace and Ted a convenient and economical choice for consumers. Secondly, the company has a strong team management who have profound experience in implementing business plan in the eyewear industry featuring a visionary and creative CEO. He believes that changing eyewear should be as simple as changing a pair of sneakers. Thirdly, thirdly Ace and Tate has promising market opportunities. They sell eyewear in several European markets, and the expansion plan is being under progress. Next, in terms of sales revenue model, the company gained revenue from selling their eyewear. About organizational development, the company keeps a humble number of staffs, 25 employees specifically, which means that the company uses lean business model. Their CEO and other top executives personally oversee every area of operation and production. The market strategy that the company adopts is cost leadership, where they keep their cost low and offers a good price for consumers. Ace and Taste has a good understanding of its target consumers. They plan their marketing strategy around that. They use their social media channels very actively. Their style and design of products are attractive to young people. The corporate social responsibilities of the company is concerned with the environment, protection, and clarity. Web design is modern and appealing. Utilize the internet Cut cost and reach out to customers is also a very good strategy. And last but not least, their physical showrooms and stores for customers' convenience is very persuasive. Hi, my name is Ang, and now I am going to continue to present about three parts, the two final elements of Ace and Test business model and the business strategy that they have applied. First of all, let's talk about the competitive advantage of this company. There are three advantages that we have found through analyzing this case, with the first one being that Acentas lean business model allows it to keep costs low and focus on its core goal, creating a strong, stylish product at a fraction of the usual price. Next, Acentat represents a cost-effective option for simpler prescriptions as well as for non-prescription eyewear worn purely for style. And finally, Acentat sells primarily online using a flat fee payment system for each pair of glasses. Many extra services are bundled into the base price, including free shipping and returns a flexible return policy, and the ability to try on up to four pairs of glasses, also delivered for free over a span of five days. The final element of Asintat's business model is the competitive environment. 
On the global scale, Ace and Ted has one direct competitor, which is Warby Parker. Warby Parker can be considered the first mover and they utilized the advantage really well. And in Europe, Ace and Ted has some direct competitors, such as Classes Direct from United Kingdom or Quattro Ciento from Italy. Also, there are several indirect competitors like Harry's, which sells razor blades and other saving implements, Casper and Nosworth's bed, which sells mattresses, just border with backpacks, and last but not least, I want to talk about the strategy that Ace and Ted have implemented for their success. They apply these following business strategies. First, it is differentiation. They have modern designs, products, and marketing to appeal to young people. Also, one of Ace and Ted's strengths are unique customer services and delivery system. They can, you can try up to four pairs of glasses over the span of five days by orderly, ordering online, which leads to a convenient shopping experience for customers. The second strategy is cost competition. They cut all the unnecessary costs like middlemen, opticians, operational costs, and they also implement the scope strategy. They de deliver to more and more countries and open physical stores in more cities. That is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.